the Biwabic Athletic Complex in Biwabic, a soccer doubleheader today. The Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears versus the Becker Bulldogs. First the girls match, then the boys. We will have both matches for you today on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154 Access Channel 12. It's senior day for Eveleth Gilbert. Between the two matches, the Golden Bears seniors and their parents will be introduced. The Becker Bulldogs have made the old 170 mile trip north. Becker is in Sherburn County between Minneapolis and St. Cloud. The high school has an enrollment of 764. The girls' matches first. Eveleth Gilbert is 1 and 5. They lost their first match of the season, 8 to 2, to North Branch. Came back. Strong in the second match, beating Walker Hackensack Akeley 4 0, but are now on a four game losing streak. The Golden Bears average 1.6 goals per game and allow an average of 4.5 goals per game. Coached by David Stack with uh, assistant Juliana Payne. The Becker Bulldogs are two and four. The Bulldogs lost their first three matches of the season. They average 1.2 goals per game. Allow an average 3.7 goals per game, coached by Arnold Schengemeyer. Good afternoon at the Biwabic Athletic Complex in Biwabic. A soccer doubleheader will be played today. The Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears versus the Becker Bulldogs. First the girls match, then the boys. Both matches for you on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154, Channel 12. The girls are set to go on senior day for Eveleth Gilbert. Between the two matches, the Golden Bears seniors and their parents will be introduced. And we are underway with the Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears and the Becker Bulldogs girls soccer on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154, Channel 12. In goal for the Golden Bears, Tori Walner, averaging 16 saves per game. In goal for the Bulldogs is Talia Cox, both goalies, the main goaltenders for their respective teams. Golden Bears in the white shirts, black numbers, and black shorts. And the ball for the first time in this match goes into the Bulldog end. And on the sideline, far side, the Bulldogs control and kick it, try to clear it out. Golden Bears on the sideline, lose the ball to the Bulldogs wearing the blue with white numbers and letters. And an attacker for the Bulldogs now down the far sideline into the penalty area, blocked by one of the Golden Bears. Leading scorer for the Bulldogs is Mickey Bershite wearing number nine, six goals on the season so far. In towards the penalty area, blocked, and the Bulldogs have a chance, but it's cleared out by the Eveleth Gilbert at Golden Bears. Golden Bears are one and five. They lost their first match of the season, eight to two to North Branch, came back in their second match, beating Walker Hackensack Akeley four nothing, but are now on a four game losing streak. Bulldogs on the near sideline, ball comes out and there'll be a throw in for the Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears, Taylor Koskinemi with a throw in from the sideline, just below the tower here where we're perched at the Biwabic Athletic Complex, high above the field on a beautiful mid-September day on the Iron Range. 55 degrees at the opening kick. Little wind from the west. Field goes north-south. North is left as you see it on the TV, kick into the penalty area for the Bulldogs, and it's out in front. And that was Megan Peterson. She with the bright shoes, the main forward for the Bulldogs. No score early on. A double header. 
On Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154, Channel 12. Goaltender for the Golden Bears is Tori Walner, a sophomore goaltender for Eveleth Gilbert. Golden Bears controlling it at the center circle. And the Bulldogs take it away. That was Rachel Vogel, midfielder, into the Bulldog zone and back up towards midfield. Bulldog goal on the south end of the field as you view it. We're brought to you in part by Tufco, Tritec, and the Eveleth IGA. Ball goes out the sideline, throw in coming up, no score. It's the girls match first on this soccer doubleheader on a sunny, eh, partly cloudy, sunny day. We'll call it sunny. It's mid-September and it's 55 degrees. Beautiful day. Boys will follow after this. It's senior day. The seniors for the Eveleth Gilbert soccer teams will be introduced go, along go, with their go, parents go, go. between the two matches. Amy, go. Tossed down the field into the Golden Bear zone into the penalty area and chasing it towards the goal line. It goes out. That was Stephanie Madzi following the ball out and it's going to be a Corner kick for the Becker Bulldogs. I'm just into the middle. Golden Bears average 1.6 goals per game and allow an average of 4.5. They are 1 and 5. Eveleth Gilbert is coached by David Stark with assistant Juliana Payne. Off the corner kick, the Golden Bears try to control it, stepping on and tripping, but picking it back up. The Golden Bear defender, it's in the penalty area. And the Becker Bulldogs continue to put on the attack, goes off and out the goal line, and the Golden Bears will send it in as the teams retreat back towards the midfield. Goaltender Tori Walner. The right footed kick. Header tried and missed, and the kick up field. Bulldogs send it back up. And a kick off the side of the goal. First real good chance for either team. That goes out the goal line, and Walner will send it downfield again. Thanks in part. Thanks to sponsors, in part, Monich uh, Distributing, John's Drug, and Margie's Roosevelt, along with Farm Bureau, helping to bring you Eveleth Gilbert Sports. The Becker Bulldogs are two and four. They lost their first three matches of the season, then beat Mayor Lutheran, lost to Detroit Lakes. And in their last game, beat St. John's Prep 1-0. The Becker Bulldogs are from, of course, Becker. That's eh, a couple of hundred miles away, maybe 180 miles away between St. Cloud and Minneapolis. A throw in by the Golden Bears on the far sideline. Chasing it down into the corner and the Bulldogs control. Now losing it to the Golden Bears. Ball goes out, Golden Bears will throw in. Yeah, the Bawabek Athletic Com uh, Complex. Little delay before the start of the matches as the Becker boys rolled into the parking lot and their school bus pulled down a wire. The wire pulled down a power pole. The power pole fell onto the school bus. Power went out on parts of the complex. The fire department showed up still here in the complex trying to clear things up. Power went out on parts of the complex, but we're able to hook up in this part. You would think it's something of a dangerous situation. Don't think the boys were allowed off the bus for a while. Don't know if they've even exited yet. Maybe they have, maybe they've cleared things up, but uh, power pole knocked down after the 200 mile drive north, apparently uneventful until they pulled within 40 yards of the field. All that being cleared up. This is the girls' match, the first of two matches today, and a shot towards the goal and caught by the goaltender, Tori Walner. 
punt down towards the center circle there and at midfield the Bulldogs send it back towards the Golden Bear end. No score. On the far sideline, Golden Bears left hand, left foot kick. And that's Jelena Hankala defending and knocking the ball off the sideline. The Bulldogs will throw in. Kaiwabic Fire Department still on the scene in the parking lot, trying to clear things up. The downed power line. Some of us walked out there as uh, right after it happened, they said, don't touch the fence. Well, no, 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 no one's hurt. Everyone's okay. Just trying to uh, hook things back up. A whistle. Offsides. And free kick. Coming up, the Golden Bears play in Section 7A. The Bulldogs play in Section 8A. Bulldogs are coached by Arnold Shangemeyer. Assistants Gretchen Shangemeyer and Heather Olson. Golden Bears David Starks in his first year as head coach. He was an assistant on the boys team last year. Golden Bears Carly Heaty stops it, loses it. Now it goes towards the... Big penalty area, punted away by Tori Walner. One bounce, header by the Bulldog defense. Kate Burning heading it. Out of bounds, out the sideline. Throw in now by Taylor Koskinemi. Right hand kick by Stephanie Madzi. And chasing it down is the Bulldogs' Mickey Bershight, leading scorer, six goals on the season, a shot and a goal. The Bulldogs score and take a one-nothing lead. It's Amy Connard, midfielder scoring for the Bulldogs. And that makes it one nothing. Becker Bulldogs assist. Eh, likely to Mickey Bershite. She was right there as well. So it's one nothing. And from midfield, ball's coming right down the sideline and out the sideline, near side. Throw in by the Bulldogs. Rachel Tower, she's got one goal, tosses the ball in. It's Kemi Zybarth losing it to the Golden Bears. Now at midfield, the Bulldogs control it. Talia Cox. Bulldogs bring it back into their own end. Heidi Voigt for the Bulldogs. Kick went right into Megan Dudek. Bulldogs trying to clear it out of their own end. Now the Golden Bears dribbling with it. Paige Mackey. And a pass goes out the sideline intended for Taylor Koskinemi. Throw in for the Becker Bulldogs. We're brought to you by Five Seasons Sports. Mike and Cammie Newman. Dan Schneider all helping to bring sports to you on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154 Channel 12. On a lovely day by Wabak, 55 degrees, partly cloudy, at the opening kick of our double header. Girls here first. Boys to follow between the two matches. The seniors for the Golden Bears will be introduced along with their parents. Golden Bears Emma Greenlee dribbling with it. Sending it up for Jelena Hankala. Bulldogs controlling it and now losing it out the sideline. Going off of Heidi Voigt and the Golden Bears will throw in from the sideline. The officials are Owe Ide Gay Akaname. That's how he pronounced it to me. Oh, he wrote it out <laughs> thinking, he said, you're from the Iron Range. You won't pronounce this well. Away Dige Akaname, Brett Keeley, and Mark Starr, the officials for today's matches. Ball kicked out the sideline. Carly Heaty 
Last to touch it for the Golden Bears. Becker coach Arnold Schengemeyer retrieves it, sends it up to Becker Bulldog player Rachel Tower. And it comes back out the sideline and Tower will throw in again. Into the Golden Bears zone, header by the Golden Bears, Taylor Koskinini. Now dribbling with the ball is Paige Mackey. At midfield, the Bulldogs send it into the Golden Bears zone, out the sideline, and the Bulldogs throw in far side. one nothing. Becker leads. And there's Tori Walner, the goaltender. Becker is two and four entering this game. The Golden Bears are one and five. Bulldogs play in the Granite Ridge Conference. The Golden Bears, an independent team with uh, eight other teams. They're about in the middle of the pack. Leading the way is Moorhead, three and two in those independent standings. In the section, Hermantown is five and one. Princeton is three, two and three. Golden Bears, one and five. Down in the bottom third of the section standings. There's the whistle and the throw in, the Bulldogs towards center line. Golden Bear and a Bulldog bump. And at the center line, the Golden Bears send it in, Stephanie Madzi. Madzi sends it up to Taylor Paschini. Chasing it down now for the Golden Bears, Emma Greenlee. It goes into the Golden Bear zone and a left-handed kick by Heidi Voigt sends it back up. And unable to control one of the Bulldogs, Taylor Koskinini sends it back into the Bulldog end. Left hand kick. And the Golden Bears, Carly Heaty, sends it into the center circle. Stop there by Charity Howell. Towards the far sideline. Bulldog falls and rolls. And the ball goes out the sideline. And a throw in for the Bulldogs. One nothing lead for Becker. It was a kick. Free kick as the ball heading into the Bulldog end. North-south field, the Bulldogs defending the goal. To our right, the south end. Golden Bears on the north end. To the left as you view it. Carly Heady retrieving to dribble the ball and eventually kick it out of the sideline. Thanks to... Mike Hallstrom, Bill Jarvie. Parents, grandparents, volunteers, and the fans for helping with Evelyn Gilbert Sports in any and many ways. Chasing it down into the Golden Bear zone is Heidi Voigt losing it out the sideline. Couldn't get there quick enough. Golden Bears will throw in from the sideline their own end. It's Heidi. Intended for Greenlee, who kicks it upfield. Stopped there by Taylor Koskinini. Sends it to midfield. Bulldogs control and. and open on this near side is Heidi Voigt. Tested by Heidi, but Voigt sends it up in front of the goal. And it's cleared out to the Golden Bears. Jewel Jacqueline, the leading scorer for Evelyn Gilbert with three goals, clears it out. There's a whistle. one nothing the score. Becker Bulldogs lead. The Bulldogs loaded the buses early this morning from Becker, which is between St. Cloud and Minneapolis. Rolled up. Boys and girls. Boys game will follow. This one in between the matches, it's senior day, the seniors for Golden Bears girls and boys teams will be introduced. There's a whistle, fire department still on the scene in the parking lot. The Becker boys bus rolled in. An uneventful 200 mile trip from Becker to Biwabic and in the last couple of feet, they pulled down a power line, power pole fell on the bus. Bit of an incident. 
and the fire department's on the scene to clear that situation up. Throw in for the Bulldogs. Far side, Golden Bears chase it down. That's Jelena Hankala losing the ball to one of the Bulldogs. And now a kick towards Emma Greenlee. Greenlee to Koskinini. Dribbling with the ball, one of the Bulldogs. That was Zybar. And the Golden Bears keeping the pressure on. Trailing one nothing. Out the sideline, off the opposite side. And the Golden Bears will throw in Jewel Jacklin, leading scorer, three goals on the season. Out! Keep up! That could have been keep up, but it couldn't better take it because it was a header. There's a whistle. Step, 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 step. Now it continues on. Opposite field there is where we heard that. Boys are warming up across the way. One nothing here. Becker leads Evelyn Gilbert in the girls match. And wide open now is Taylor Koskinini. Taylor Koskinini into the penalty area. Shot and a save by goaltender Megan Dudek. Eighth grader for the Bulldogs. Big chance, best chance of the afternoon for the Golden Bears. Ball bouncing down into the Golden Bear end. It's Charity Howell with a header and then chasing it down. Far sideline towards the corner. Bulldog falls down, kick up field. The Bulldogs keep it in, rolls into the penalty area. And contesting there is Katri uh, Katrina Bertucci. Ball goes out the goal line. And substitutions coming in for each team. Two players for each team. Koskinimi leaving for the Golden Bears. Faith Howell comes out. Bit of a controversy uh, mix up there as Koskinimi stays in the game for now. Howell ready to check in along with Caitlin Lebeck. The Lebecks, by the way, uh, running the concession stand, doing a fabulous job. They didn't have coffee ready for us, I noticed. <laughs> but overall, looks like a well run operation by the Lebecks at the concession stand here at the Biwabic Athletic Complex this afternoon. The Golden Bears 1 and 5 on the season. The Bulldogs are 2 and 4. Bulldogs lead this one 1 nothing early on. Head coach Arnold Shangemeyer coloring out some directions to his Becker Bulldog team. Towards midfield, a pass misdirected. Golden Bears get a foot on it, Greenlee. Misdirects it, sends it away, and keeping it in is Koskinini in the Becker zone. Bulldogs, Heidi Voigt gets a foot on it, sends it up to Rachel Vogel. Golden Bears now, Carly Heaty up into the Bulldog end and kicked downfield by Ailey Fisher, defenseman for the Bulldogs, who lead it 1 0. Tori Walner, goaltender, looks like she was directing Stephanie Madzi to just kick it out the sideline, and Golden Bears can regroup and get some substitutions in. Checking in Caitlin Lebeck and Faith Howell, Lebecca. Sophomore midfielder, Howell, a sophomore midfielder, throw in by the Bulldogs. Along the near sideline, it's handled by Rachel Vogel, then mishandled off the sideline. The Golden Bears will throw in from the sideline. That's Faith Howell, who just checked in, sends it up upfield, and that's tapped away by Rachel Tower. Golden Bears cross field and kick, and it's Lebeck. Reaching for it, it might have hit a bulldog as it bounces out of bounds. No, nope, one off of Lebec, the Golden Bear. Throw in, downfield, chasing it down into the penalty area and kicking it out the goal line, one of the bulldogs. It's gonna be Golden Bears sending it up the uh, head coach, Arnold Shangemeyer, hollering this fact. The white line means it's the end of the field, so 
don't kick it past there. Good advice to his team. Tori Walner, the goaltender, right-footed kick upfield. Chasing it down, left foot kick by Greenlee. Chases one of the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs get a foot on it and send it down towards the far sideline. Sliding was Katrina Bertucci. And the ball goes out the goal line off of Becker. And Walner, the goaltender, has the ball at her feet. Checking in for the Golden Bears, Haley Urchel. And Jewel Jacklin will sit out momentarily. one nothing Becker. Kick to the sideline, and the LeBec can't control it. Be a throw in from the far sideline by the Becker Bulldogs. And in the penalty area, left foot by Greenlee. And a left foot by Paige Mackey on the uh, far side along the sideline, saved by one of the Bulldogs, and it bounces off go, go, go. one of the Golden Bears, throw in by the Bulldogs far side, off the foot of Madzi, and another throw in by the Bulldogs. They're quick to grab it and toss it in to the penalty area. Madzi gets her left foot on it, and a kick here by Emma Greenlee. Still in the Golden Bear end, fanning on it. One of the Golden Bears, Hankala, and a whistle. one nothing Becker leads. We're brought to you in part by Tufco, Tritech, Eveleth IGA, Mariucci Video producing the broadcast on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154, Channel 12. Down into the penalty area, into the goal area, and just wide of the net. Big chance for the Golden Bears as the goaltender, Megan Dudek, was far out from her position. It just goes wide. The score remains a Becker one, Eveleth Gilbert nothing. That's good, right there. See the official there, Brett Keeley. The other officials are Mark Starr. And Owe Idege Akaname. All sails out. Opposite way, midfield. Throw in by the Bulldogs. And some players set to check in. Two for the Bulldogs. Back into the match. Koskinimi for Eveleth Gilbert. Bulldogs throw in, running toss go, down the far go, 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 sideline. Go, go, go. Right hand, right go, go. foot kick to the goal line. As two Bulldogs try to control it, they do in the penalty area. The Golden Bears take it away. On the far sideline, left hand kick, Lebec. Loses it out the sideline, throw in. Towards the goal line, and it goes out the goal line. It's gonna be Golden Bears. Walner, the goaltender, will send it upfield. North to south, left to right as you view it. Right hand kick over one of the Bulldogs, past Rachel Vogel. The Bulldogs keep it in the Golden Bear zone, out the near sideline, one nothing. Becker leads it as the teams regroup and a throw in for Eveleth Gilbert, Golden Bears. Golden Bears are one and five. Lost their first game of the season. Won their second game of the season. Amy Connard took a ball off the left cheek. Shaken up a bit. Coach is hollering, are you okay? She apparently is continuing on. Discussing the matter with the opposing player as the play continues at midfield. That's Ailey Fisher to the Bulldogs. Vogel. Vogel just ran out of space. <laughs> and it goes out the sideline. Faith Howell throw in for the Golden Bears. Bounces twice before Paige Mackey gets a left hand kick. Up to Koskinimi. Koskinimi right hand kick over. Right in front of the penalty area and two bounces and it goes into the goaltender. That was Haley Urchel. With a shot on goal, header at midfield by the Bulldogs. 
Two players tried for it. They have pet butt there. Everyone's okay. Whistle blows. And a kick for the Bulldogs. It's going to be Mickey Burscheidt leading goal scorer for the Bulldogs. She has six goals on the season. Amy Connard has scored the only goal in this game for the Bulldogs. It's 1-0 Becker. Chasing and dribbling the ball upfield. Jewel Jackman. Or make that Paige Mackey. And it's stopped. By the goaltender Dudek who sends it downfield. Right to left and it comes down Towards the penalty area, controlled by the Golden Bears, sent up to the sideline, far side, stolen away by the Bulldogs. It was Kate Burning, and the ball goes out the sideline. Bit of a wind picking up from the west now. Some clouds moving in. Is it going to rain on us? Can you cover those cameras? <laughs> we hope we can. Started off a sunny day at uh, opening kick, 55 degrees. Clouds and wind picking up a bit here and midway through the first match of the afternoon. And the girls, Evelyn Gilbert and Becker, the boys will follow between the matches. It's senior day, so the seniors for the Golden Bears soccer teams will be introduced along with their parents. Right now, Tori Walner picks up the ball. And the right-handed kick towards midfield. Neely Urchel watches it. Lebeck taps it towards the Bulldog zone. Urchel dribbling with it behind her back. Steers it with her right foot. And now it's into the Golden Bear end. Bertucci has it taken away. Golden Bears retake control of the ball and send it upfield. Chasing it down is Paskanini, but the Bulldogs send it up the far sideline. Right footed kick, and it could be a breakaway. A whistle blows offside. The call against the Becker Bulldogs. <laughs> Two players were down there. They're questioning who it was. Head coach Arnold Schengemeyer says it was you to one of them, apparently. Mickey Burscheidt was offside for the Bulldogs. Kick there by the Golden Bears. It's Faith Howell towards the near sideline. Bulldogs take the ball away. Here's Burscheidt, backwards kick towards her teammate Megan Peterson, but kicked out by the Golden Bears, Carly Heedy. And a throw in coming up by the Becker Bulldogs. We're brought to you by John's Drug, Monich Distributing and Margie's Roosevelt, helping to bring you sports on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154, Channel 12. Megan Peterson kicking it in. There's the large penalty area, right footed kick coming up by goaltender Tori Walner, a high punt. ATV zips by behind us. Bulldogs chase it down in their own end. It's Patrick. That's Koskinini behind it, has it taken away. And the Bulldogs dribbling upfield. It's Ailey Fisher. Sends it all the way down. Walner comes out of the net. Sends it all the way back down into the Bulldogs zone. A header. And Greenlee has it at midfield. Faith Howell watching. Kaylee Fitzpatrick back towards Walner, chases it down. Might have gone wide if she'd have allowed it. Picks it up and boots it towards midfield. Vogel wanted to control it. You could hear her sigh as she missed it there. And the Golden Bears, Koskinini, chasing it down against Talia Cox. Cox gets there first. It goes out the sideline, throwing coming up. Eddie Evelyn Gilbert Golden Bears. One in five this season, about midway through the season. The Bulldogs are two and four. Next match for the Golden Bears, Saturday, September 21st against Zimmerman, right back here at the Biwabic Athletic Complex. 
Then on the 23rd, it's Hibbing Chisholm in Hibbing. Throw in, far sideline, Golden Bears. Haley Urchel, looking, looking, ball above her head and tosses it in. Three Bulldogs were there surrounding it. One of them kicks it upfield, a header. And it's tied up there along the far sideline. Urchel, as one of the Bulldogs, kicks it out. Nope, one off the Golden Bears. One nothing, Becker leads. We're brought to you by Tufco, Tritech, Eveleth IGA, Monich Distributing, John's Drug, and Margie's Roosevelt, all helping to bring you sports and activities on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154 Access Channel 12. Throw in by the Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears, met there by one of the Bulldogs. And back out of bounds, far sideline, tossed in by the Golden Bears, cracked down by the Bulldogs, Talia Cox, defender for the Becker Bulldogs, knocked out of bounds by Caitlin Lebeck of the Golden Bears. Bulldogs with the 1-0 lead here in the first half. Throw in and kept in the Bulldog zone. Golden Bears with a chance now into the penalty area and kicked back out by the Bulldogs defender. Evelyn Gilbert, Golden Bears 1 and 5 on the season on a four game losing streak. Becker Bulldogs are 2 and 4. Golden Bears keep it in the Bulldog zone here. That's Jewel Jacklin, who's the leading scorer for Eveleth Gilbert. Three goals on the season so far, waiting for the teams to regroup and kicking it toward the net and hook, hooking left. The wind aided that one. Wind's picking up as the uh, early afternoon goes on. Started off 55 degrees and sunny at uh, noon. Looks like increasing clouds. Feeling one, like rain. One, Maybe we'll touch. get both games in without rain, but uh, Hello, later right. tonight. Currently some showers in the forecast. Becker Bulldogs kick downfield. Kept in the Bulldog zone. one nothing. Becker with the lead here in the first half. Senior day for Eveleth Gilbert soccer players. The Golden Bears seniors and their parents will be introduced at halftime. We'll have that for you. For the girls, the seniors are Katie Bertucci, Haley Urchel, Carly Heedy, Charity Howell, and Taylor Koskinen. Bulldogs send the ball down into the Golden Bear zone. Goalie Tori Walner averaging 16 saves per game. Trying to clear it out, but the Bulldogs keep it in. That was leading scorer Mickey Bershite for the Bulldogs. Tracking it down into the corner goes out of bounds. And Bershite will throw it in. Katrina Bertucci tried to save it there for the Golden Bears. Bershite tosses it in overhead. And the Bulldogs keep it in the Eveleth Gilbert zone momentarily with the one nothing lead, Bulldogs. Golden Bears send it downfield and kicked out by Megan Dudek, eighth grade goaltender for the uh, Becker Bulldogs. Double header soccer today on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154 Access Channel 12. We're brought to you in part by Farm Bureau, Five Seasons, Mike and Cami Newman, Dan Schneider, Mike Hallstrom, Frank, uh, Frank Vatternick, helping to bring you soccer, sports and activities on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154 Access Channel 12. It's the girls soccer match first here, Golden Bears and the Bulldogs, Tori Walner, Eveleth Gilbert goalie, races out, picks it up and we'll send it downfield. North to south, left to right as you see it. At midfield, Bulldogs header keeps it in the Golden Bear zone. And the Bulldogs towards the penalty area now, booting it towards the corner, tracking it down for Becker was Cami Zybar. The uh, Golden Bears charity Howell. 
trying to defend there. Now it's close in and just off to the left of Tori Walner. She watches it go out of bounds, out the uh, end line. And Becker has the 1-0 lead and will corner kick opposite side. Golden Bear zone. Couple of replacements for each team here. The boys game will follow. You see with the referee holding up the flag, the wind's picking up just a bit. Clouds have increased. Temperature's about 55. It's where we were at noon when this match began. We're just waiting for some players to uh, join their mates on the field. And we're set. It'll be Burr Scheidt with the corner kick for the Bulldogs. Head coach of the Becker Bulldogs is Arnold Schengemeyer. You may have heard him singing a bit, chanting a little bit. <laughs> he dances. Maybe we'll get that. Get the camera to get some dancing down below. He's very animated. And he likes his soccer as his team kicks one across uh, kind of a hooking shot attempt, and it goes out of bounds. It was an effort by the Bulldogs. Tori Walner is the Golden Bear goaltender, and she will send it downfield. Becker won, Eveleth Gilbert nothing. The Golden Bears are one and five. Four game losing streak. Becker is two and four on the season so far. We're at the Biwabic Athletic Complex for a double header today. The boys will follow between the matches on the senior day, the seniors for boys and girls Golden Bear soccer teams will be introduced with their parents. Ball goes out of bounds, sideline opposite side, quickly tossed in overhead by the Bulldogs, kept from uh, going too far there, Golden Bears, but the Bulldogs send it back down into the Eveleth Gilbert zone towards the center circle. Left footed kick down towards the near corner and tracking it down is Nikki Timmerman for the Bulldogs. Goes out of bounds, Timmerman will toss it in towards the penalty area. Amy Connard was there. She scored the first and only goal of the game so far. Her first goal of the season. And it's one nothing. Becker ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick coming up for Becker. That's Bershite, the leading scorer for the Bulldogs. Six goals for Bershite on the season so far. The Golden Bears leading scorer is Jewel Jacklin with three goals. Right footed kick towards the net. Stopped there by Charity Howell and booted towards midfield, but a whistle and that's halftime. And at halftime, it's Becker one, Eveleth Gilbert nothing on senior day for the Golden Bears, second half of the first match coming up. bus for a period of time as there's something of a dangerous situation. The utility crews and the fire department are on the scene at the parking lot here at the athletic complex and the power was cut off to the system here at the press tower, the van, and the, uh, all the equipment we need to bring you the broadcast today. Apparently they've 
fix the situation, or are still trying to fix the situation, as you see the utility crew and the school bus there and the fire department on the scene trying to get the power back on. So we've had a few difficulties caused by that problem. Girls, good kick. Had everything set to go. It was all wonderfully ready to go, all set to bring you a doubleheader sports soccer broadcast on TV. And Just play it. Play it. Let's go for well, there goes the power line, so that's caused some problems with many aspects of the uh, broadcast and other things. Who's square? Who's square? Today. Half underway for the girls' match, the first of two matches. Becker leads Eveleth Gilbert 1 0. Now the Bulldogs are defending the goal to the left as you view it, the north end of the field. Bulldogs moving in and a kick just wide of Tori Walner, the goaltender for the Golden Bears. Walner averages 16, goal, 16 saves per game. Golden Bears allow an average of four plus goals per game and score 1.6 goals per game. That is Haley Fitzpatrick for the Bulldogs on the, on the goal line. The Becker Bulldogs lead the Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears 1-0 in the first of two soccer matches this afternoon at the Biwabic Athletic Complex. It's the second half. Technical difficulties caused by a power line problem. Well, the power line fell down. The Bulldogs boys soccer team was rolling into the parking lot after a seemingly uneventful, comfortable trip from Becker, a couple of hundred miles south of here, about eight feet from where they wanted to park the bus. The bus hooked onto a power line. The power line pulled down a power pole. The power pole fell onto the school bus. Power was knocked out at the complex here, causing problems with the broadcast on TV and uh, likely other problems around the city of Biwabic. Fire department was called. It's probably something of a dangerous situation. The Becker boys soccer team was probably stranded on the bus for a bit of a period of time. Everyone's okay, but they've been working to fix the situation. Power has been restored to the complex fire department, still on the scene, utility crews trying to still uh, work on the situation. So we had a power problem causing some technical difficulties. Yeah, lack of power, which we need to bring you the broadcast. So we've got it going now and everyone's okay after the power line fell onto the Becker boys soccer team school bus just before noon, just before the start of this girls game. This is the second half of the girls soccer match. Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears, Becker Bulldogs. Becker leads it one to nothing in the first half. Sophomore midfielder Amy Conard scored for the Bulldogs, assisted by Mickey Bershite. Bershite's the leading scorer for the Bulldogs. Six goals on the season. Now Conard has her first goal of the season. The Golden Bears' leading scorer is Jewel Jacklin. She's wearing number 21, a sophomore midfielder. She's got three goals this season. Goaltender is Tori Walner for the Golden Bears. And the goaltender for the Bulldogs is eighth grader Megan Dudek. Walner is a sophomore goaltender for Eveleth Gilbert. Ball goes out the far sideline, throw in by the Bulldogs. Koskinimi defending, Jacqueline there too for the Golden Bears. And another throw in by the Bulldogs who are two and four on the season. They play in the Granite Ridge Conference of Central Minnesota. They're in section 8A, two and four this season. Now a chance for the Bulldogs right out in front and only Golden Bears there. Now it's tapped into the penalty area. Tapped in by Haley Fitzpatrick. 
And finally, cleared out by the Golden Bears' Paige Mackey. A big right-footed kick, but the Bulldogs try to bring it back up, and Stephanie Madzi sends it down. Into the Bulldog zone, Koskinimi chasing it down against Ailey Fisher. Koskinimi can't quite reach it. It's cleared out by the Bulldogs, but out the sideline, throw in coming up for the Golden Bears. On the far sideline, trailing one nothing, second half. And the toss in goes between the legs of Paige Mackey. Mackey still trying to track it down. The Bulldogs send it up. It's a breakaway. It's a breakaway for Mickey Bershite. Offside. And we'll start over at the uh, center circle. one nothing. Becker leads. At uh, opening kick, noon. Today it was 55 and sunny and calm. Towards the end of the first half, the clouds had moved in. The wind had picked up from the west. And it darkened a bit, almost like it was to rain. But right now it's, yeah, it's overcast. I don't feel that threat of rain anymore. It's clearing up a little bit behind us. Behind us is west. We're high in the tower, about 30 or 40 feet above the field here at the Bawabic Athletic Complex. Hope the wind doesn't pick up too much. Got seasickness, Don? You got any of that? You got any of that? Got any vertigo going? We will by the time we get done. Don's on the camera. Hugo's, held, Hugo's uh, here as well. and. Uh, We've got a 1-0 Becker lead in the second half of this first match at the Bawabic Athletic Complex. Tracking it down is Bershite. She's on the far side, dribbling into the penalty area. Stopped by Walner, can't control it, and it falls into the goal. It's a shot and a goal, and the Bulldogs lead 2-0. Mickey Bershite, her sixth goal of the season, her first of this game. Tori Walner leaped high. It hit her fingertips and bounced over, bounced once on the goal line and into the net. Tough luck there for Walner and the Golden Bears as the Bulldogs now lead 2-0. Two nothing Bulldogs. Sophomore midfielder Amy Connard scored in the first half. Senior forward Mickey Bershey just scoring here in the second half. Two nothing Becker leads. Becker is two and four this season. Playing section 8A, Granite Ridge Conference. The Golden Bears are one and five. Independent. In the independent standings, middle of the pack in section 7A, down the bottom third of the pack, leading section 7A is Hermantown at five and one. Bulldogs moving left to right. They're wearing the blue with white numbers. Or white trim, I should say. It's a different shade blue numbers, I guess. Goaltender Dudek clears that out of the goal area, the penalty area. Now it goes out the goal line. Last touched by a Golden Bear. And a substitution now for the Bulldogs. Leading 2 nothing. more sunshine now falling upon the field. Fire department still on the scene. Utility crews still on the scene in the parking lot of the complex. The Becker boys soccer team school bus. Pulled down a power line, power pole fell onto the bus. Just before noon, just before the start of this first match, knocked out power to the complex, causing some problems with the broadcast. Need power for that. I guess everything's hooked back up. There were no, no injuries, nobody got hurt. I think the boys were delayed from exiting the school bus for a while, as uh, well, there was a power line on it. That's been rectified, boys, from Becker and Evelith Gilbert, both warming up, ready, getting ready for their match to follow this one. Between the two matches, well, it's senior day, and the Evelith Gilbert boys and girls senior soccer players will be introduced along with their parents. 
Stoppage of play here in the second half. Becker leads 2-0 in this first match. Girls soccer on Eveleth Fail Independent School District 2154, Channel 12. There's the whistle and the kick. And the Bulldogs try to keep it in the Golden Bear zone. Koskinimi got her right foot on it and she tracks it down at midfield. Spinning around is Haley Urchel and controlling it over to Emma Greenlee who sends it up the field, chasing, uh, chasing it down. Haley Urchel goes out the sideline, or did it? Yes, it did. Near sideline went out and it's gonna be Golden Bears. A throw in in the Bulldog zone. Bulldogs two, Golden Bears nothing. It's Bertucci with the running toss and it goes between the legs of a Bulldog and that's Urchel watching it into the corner, kicked out of bounds on the sideline by the Bulldogs. Urchel will throw it in. Chance here for the Golden Bears. They can set up a play. Ball above her head. Urchel tosses it in. Kicked back out by the Bulldogs. Out in front of the goal now. A header by the Bulldogs. And it goes off the side way. Heidi Voigt off the, uh, to the far side into the corner. Up the far sideline. And it's touched by Madzi. Goes out of bounds. The Bulldogs will throw it in. And they substitute three players now. 2-0 Becker, Amy Connard scored in the first half. Mickey Bershite scored her seventh goal of the season. Here in the second half, 2-0 Bulldogs lead. We're brought to you by Tufco, Tritech, Eveleth IGA, Mariucci Video bringing you the broadcast on Eveleth Fail Independent School District, 2154 Channel 12. On an occasionally sunny day in Biwabic, Overcast, streaky clouds, a cloud cover. Looks like a low cloud cover over the Iron Range, but the sun shines through on occasion. 55 degrees at game time. That was high noon today. Ball in the Bulldog zone, and a right foot of Emma Greenlee sends it towards the goal, the penalty area. Emma Greenlee still pestering the Bulldogs. Goes out of bounds, out the sideline, off of Greenlee, they say. Throw in by the Bulldogs, a whistle. As a couple of Becker players check into the game. Biwabic Athletic Complex hosts the Eveleth Gilbert soccer teams. Couple of blocks off of Main Street in Biwabic. Nice place. Cold place. I remember a few years ago with youth soccer, seven-year-olds or so. Might have been the coldest day we've ever experienced out here. It was springtime soccer. And the parents were bundled up in sleeping bags. I hollered at one point, your son is scoring a goal. I can't see it. I'm, in the, I'm cold. Well, it's a nice warm day today. Well, 55 or so. Sun's shining. We're 30 feet up. We're closer to the sun. It feels pretty warm up here. 2-0, uh, Becker leads. Bulldogs with a left-hand kick and the Golden Bears. It's Koskinimi. Now at midfield, Haley Urchel. Back down to Greenlee. Her kick's block goes out of bounds. Greenlee will throw it in for the Golden Bears. Nope, she'll leave it for her teammate. Uh, Bertucci sends it in, back out. Off of the right foot of Megan Peterson for the Bulldogs. Toss back in and a kick back up towards midfield. It was Bertucci with the header into the Bulldog zone. Now along the near sideline, it's Greenlee battling with Talia Cox. Talia Cox with two Golden Bears. Among them, Jewel Jacqueline with a left foot kick down the field into the penalty area in front of the Bulldog zone. Bertucci sends it back that way and Megan Dudek, the eighth grade goaltender for the Bulldogs, sends it to midfield. Header by Charity Howell. 
in the Bulldog zone. Jacqueline chasing it. Along with Ailey Fisher for the Bulldogs goes out of bounds, far sideline. And a throw in for the Golden Bears. It's two to nothing, Press Becker it. leads. The Becker Bulldogs are two and four. The Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears are one and five. They won their, they won their second game of the season. After dropping their opener, they're on a four game losing streak and they've got a chance right here. Emma Greenlee outside the penalty area, pestered by one of the Bulldogs. Greenlee's gonna get a foot back on it. There's a whistle. And it'll be a free kick for the Bulldogs. Right footed kick up to Macy Eigen. Jacqueline controls it, kicks it off to the far sideline out of bounds. Throw in for the Bulldogs. Wind's picking up again from the west. Do we have enough tape to hold everything down here? Not videotape, adhesive tape. We've got, <laughs> we've got everything Everything secured nicely for a nice, warm, calm day. Well, we've got a fairly warm day, but the wind's occasionally gusting. Feels like 15 miles an hour, maybe more at times. Some substitutions for each team. Out goes Koskinimi for the Golden Bears. And we're set, Golden Bear throw in into the Bulldogs zone. Knocked back out of, out of bounds by the Bulldogs. Golden Bears will do it again, trailing two nothing. It's uh, senior day. Seniors will be introduced between the two matches along with their parents. Boys match follows this one. Eveleth Gilbert boys team is two and two shutouts in every game. Two going the good way, two not so well. Now the Golden Bears. Goaltender Tori Walner comes way out from her position. Right footed kick into the Bulldog zone and the Golden Bears will chase it down, trailing two zip into the corner. It's Faith Howell into the penalty area. The ball's kicked back out by the Bulldogs. Jacqueline chasing it down and a kick towards the net and a save. Shot on goal. It's Megan Dudek with the right footed punt towards the center circle, bounces once, a header by Bershite, Golden Bears, stop it with the body. And this is uh, Paige Mackey. Greenlee gets a right foot on it. Jacqueline dribbling with it on the far sideline. Head coach of the Bulldogs, Arnold Schangemeyer, says, why are we waiting for the ball? Wants his team to attack. A kick goes behind the net. And the Bulldogs will bring it back out. Head coach of the Golden Bears is David Stark. Assistants Juliana Payne. Stark's in his first year as head coach of the Eveleth Gilbert girls soccer team. Assisted on the boys team a year ago. Golden Bears are one and five. Four game losing streak. They'd like to snap that. They've got to get, uh, they've got some work to do. Today, Greenlee sends it on goal. Dudek picks it up. Right footed punt towards the center circle in midfield. And at midfield, two players collide. Golden Bears send it into their own zone so they can regroup and send it back up into the Bulldog zone. Now it's a possible chance for the Golden Bears, but the Bulldogs send it back up towards midfield and kicking it out the near sideline is the Bulldogs' Megan Peterson. Throw in for Eveleth Gilbert. We're brought to you by Margie's Roosevelt, John's Drug and Farm Bureau, helping to bring you sports on Evola Fail Independent School District, 2154, Channel 12. Golden Bears' next game is Saturday, September 21st against Zimmerman, back here at the Biowabek Athletic Complex. Now tracking it down, trying to is Greenlee, but the goaltender Dudek sends it back up towards midfield. And it's on the far sideline and back into the Golden Bear end. It's gonna be a chance for the Bulldogs broken up by Charity Howell. Falling down, the Golden Bears' Paige Mackey, but disrupted the play enough. 
As the ball now goes out the sideline, Bulldog sideline throw in, a header, and it goes down the far sideline, tracking it down. One of the Golden Bears, along with one of the Bulldogs, that was Heaty for Eveleth Gilbert, goes out of bounds off the sideline. Now a toss in, and the right hand, right footed kick goes out off of the Golden Bears. I think it was Howell. And the Bulldogs will throw it in. Madeline Corey tracks it down onto the next field. Races back up and will toss the ball in. Two to nothing. Becker leads here in the second half. Dribbling in on the right of the goaltender, Tori Walner. The ball's taken away. Golden Bears finally clear. There's a whistle. And there's an offside. And a free kick by Charity Howell of the Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears. On now a sunny day at the Biwabic Athletic Complex. It was 55 at the start of this match. Mid-September day on the Iron Range, not bad. Not bad, maybe a threat of rain later in the day. We'll get two matches in. As you can see, the sh sun shining even more. Shadows on the ground of the field. Here in Biwabic, a couple of blocks off Main Street, throw in by the Golden Bears. Now the Bulldogs have two players, one with a breakaway. It could be a three on two. Dribbling into the goal area, spinning around, still controlling it. The Bulldogs against Charity Howell, a kick on goal, saved by Tori Walner. And she brings it back out, averages 16 saves per game. Right footed kick right next to one of the Bulldogs and it bounces at midfield, goes out of bounds on the near sideline. Throw in now by the uh, Golden Bears. This is Haley Urchel. Urchel on the midfield stripe over to Paige Mackey. Bulldogs kick it back upfield. Bershite attacking, leading score, but has it cleared away from her into the Bulldog zone. Becker two, Eveleth Gilbert nothing. Boys match to follow. Out of bounds, and it's going to be Eveleth Gilbert throw in pass coming up in the Bulldog end. Boys teams warming up, getting ready for their match. They follow in this double header. After the toss in, it goes out of bounds. Golden Bears will do it again in the uh, Bulldog end. Emma Greenlee gets a foot on it. It's on the goal line. Sent towards the net, taken by the Bulldog defender, Talia Cox. And Dudek, the goaltender, picks it up, and boots it down towards midfield. Bershite has it. Right foot kick upfield. Bershite will track it down. She'll have a chance here. Leading score, seven goals on the season. One this afternoon. She goes between a double team, still has it, dribbling in. And clear it away, trying to clear it away are the Golden Bears. They finally do out of the goal area and the penalty area. Now as a kick by Haley Fitzpatrick goes out the end, uh, past the goal line. And Tori Walner, sophomore goaltender for the Golden Bears, will wait until the teams make some changes. For example, Heedy is out and Jacqueline in for the Golden Bears. Walner boots it midway towards midfield. And the Bulldogs try to keep it in. They do off the forearm of Rachel Tower. Ball comes out the sideline near side off of the Golden Bears. Tower will toss it in. Sends it up towards Madeline Corey. Corey takes it away from Bertucci. Bertucci and the Golden Bears watch the ball sail out the sideline. Toss in now by the Bulldogs who lead it two to nothing. 
Head coach of the Becker Bulldogs is Arnold Schangemeyer, and he's singing the Hey Mickey song. <laughs> Fairly confident in his team's chances here now this afternoon. Hey, hey Mickey, hey, hey, hey Mickey. You know the tune. He was doing that down there with the dance. You don't want to hear me sing anymore. Now tripping up is uh, Koskinemi. Ball goes out of bounds off of a Bulldog far side. Golden Bears. Got to uh, put the pressure on. Two players collide. Jacqueline with one of the Bulldogs. Bulldog falls to the turf. And a whistle blows, and it's a free kick for the Bulldogs from that spot. Right-footed kick down into the Golden Bear end. Down the sideline, and Bershite tracking it down with Charity Howell. Goes off of Howell. Bershite quick to pick it up. Sending it towards the goal. Left-handed kick. Walner picks it up and will boot it downfield. Player who uh, took the shot on goal ended up face down on the grass. Finally now just getting up at center circle into the Bulldog zone. Dudek, the goaltender, kicks it back up towards midfield. 2-0 Becker leads. Urgency now for the Golden Bears. They want to get back in this one. Ball goes out, sideline, opposite way. 2-0 Becker with the lead. Had some technical difficulties at the start of this match due to a downed power line in the parking lot. Fire department, utility crews were all called in. They've fixed the problem and they've cleared out. So the fire department, there were three trucks here with the flashing lights. They're gone now, utility department. They've cleared away, everything's situated. Now here's a chance for the Bulldogs on the goal line. It goes sailing out of bounds. Might have gone off Charity Howell of the Eveleth Gilbert's Golden Bears. Yeah, the Becker boys soccer team bus pulled down a power line. Power line pulled down a power pole. Pole fell on the bus. Bit of a Bit of a sticky problem before this first match began this afternoon. Knocked out power to the complex, at least parts of the complex, including parts that we need for the broadcast. And that uh, delayed a uh, bit of the production here. Nobody was hurt, everything's okay. Now a shot on goal by the Bulldogs. And a diving stop by Tori Walner. And she makes another save, keeping her team in it. Two nothing, Becker leads. It was Rachel Vogel with the left footed kick on goal for the Bulldogs. Megan Dudek goaltender for Becker sends it back up to midfield. Emma Greenlee with a nice play and it goes down into the far corner. Bulldog end. Koskinimi pestering one of the Bulldogs who gets it up to a teammate and it's taken away by Jacqueline. Jacqueline down into the corner, down towards the goal line. Shot on goal, right in front of the goal. Had a player there, couldn't quite reach it. And it goes out the goal line, gonna be Bulldogs possession. With the score, Becker two, Eveleth Gilbert nothing. Next game for the Golden Bears against Zimmerman right here in Bawabic on Saturday, September 21st. And on the 23rd, the Golden Bears play Hibbing Chisholm in Hibbing. Some replacements now. For Eveleth Gilbert. And Vogel with the ball, dribbling with it in her own end. Nice uh, footwork for Rachel Vogel. Bulldogs still trying to clear. Golden Bears, Jacqueline has it now. Left foot towards the goal, just wide. And Dudek, the goaltender, will chase that one down and send it downfield. Chance for the Golden Bears who haven't scored. It's Becker two, Golden Bears nothing here in the second half. Substitutions for the Bulldogs. <laughs> 
Sunny, oh, partly sunny. Yeah, partly cloudy day in Belovic. It was 55 at high noon, game time. Seems like it stayed about there. I was told to bring all the winter clothes I own. You'll be up in a tower for the game. You never know what you're going to get. But we got uh, a nice warm day. Golden Bears putting on the attack. Trailing 2 0. Bulldogs now control it up to midfield. Golden Bears keep it in the Bulldog zone. Now it's booted downfield, far sideline. It'll be a two on two for the Bulldogs. Leading scorer is Bershite. She's down in the penalty area, saved by Walner. Taps it down, picks it up. She'll put her right foot to it and send it past midfield. Bounces once, header by one of the Bulldogs. Nope, backed up. And a collision. And the ball goes off of Koskinimi, off of one of the Bulldogs out of bounds. It's Golden Bear possession, a throw in. Looks like Greenlee will toss it in. Does to Jacqueline. Jacqueline, the right foot. Boot on net. Duda catches it. Save. And she'll send it downfield. With a high punt to midfield. Fanning on it, one of the Bulldogs. Takes a header into her own face. Now the Bulldogs will have a two on one. Cruising down the right sideline. Kalani Bauer loses it to a Golden Bear. Gets it back. Bauer, left foot, right foot. Out the goal line. Charity Howell a rolling block. And it's a big play by the Golden Bears. Howell goes out the goal line. Going to be. The uh, Becker Bulldogs possession as both balls are down towards the weeds in the woods. And they've got to track those down. Looks like Bershite goes to pick it up. Some substitutions for both teams now. 2-0 Becker lead, second half. Corner kick coming up for the Becker Bulldogs. We drove up early this morning, a couple of hundred miles, I was told. Maybe not quite. Becker's between St. Cloud and Minneapolis. I believe closer to St. Cloud. But I was told it was a four-hour trip. They must have stopped for breakfast. And then when the boys got here after an uneventful 200-mile ride, about 10 feet from where they wanted to park, they pulled down a power line, power pole fell on the bus, power was knocked out to the complex, delayed the broadcast with some technical difficulties, those being no power. Uh, fire department was called, utility crews were called, everybody's okay, everybody was okay, apparently no threat of injuries, but a uh, little problem is the power pole fell on the bus, the Becker bus, this morning. And that delayed, uh, it didn't delay this game, they said let's just play anyway, the girls are all here. So this game started, power was out for a while, it's all been fixed, the crews have left, now they're coming back, I see utility crew rolling back into the parking lot, maybe just to uh, check some things out. It's 2-0, uh, Becker leads in the girls match here, first of two matches at the Biwabek Athletic Complex, Jacqueline for the Golden Bears, right foot, has it taken away by Rachel Tower, or make that Amy Connard, Connard with one of the two goals for the Bulldogs today. Connard watching the ball as the Golden Bears lose it to Rachel Tower that time. And offside, it's going to be Golden Bear free kick. Trailing two zip. David Stark coaches the Golden Bears. His first season was an assistant with the boys last season. Golden Bears are one and five. Arnold Shangemeyer coaches the Bulldog, or the uh, Becker Bulldogs. They are two and four. Now here's a chance for the Golden Bears, a rolling kick and a on one knee save by Megan Dudek. She punts it downfield. Stopped by a Bulldog teammate. And it's gonna be Golden Bear free kick as uh, Bershite handled the ball there. It's Jacqueline. Puts her right foot on it and sends it up in the penalty area. And attempt fanning on it. Now Dudek finally, as the ball rolls towards the goal, picks it up. 
Dudek, the eighth grade goaltender, boots it towards the near sideline. And that's Bauer, Kalani Bauer. It's pushed off the play by Paige Mackey, who's called on the foul, and it's going to be Bulldog. Free kick time, leading 2 0. Charity Howell, first to touch the ball off the Bulldog, a free kick, and the Golden Bears, Paige Mackey, has it at midfield. Sends it into the Bulldog zone and regains control. Now the Bulldogs take it back. Dribbling upfield through a triple team, but controlling it, one of the Bulldogs gets a kick on it, uh, gets a foot on the ball, and Jacqueline sends it downfield into the Bulldog end. Two players chasing it, looks like Greenlee beaten to it by the Bulldog player. That's Tower. Still in the corner, goes out of bounds, sideline, near side. Rachel Tower last to touch it for the Bulldogs and it's Urchel. That's who we've got there. Hands the ball off to uh, Honkala with the throw in. Touches a Bulldog, Jacqueline is there. Bulldogs kick it back out of bounds and Urchel will do it again. She'll put the ball above her head and throw it in, looking for Jacqueline. Jacqueline is inside the penalty area, headed by the Bulldogs. Amy Connard, now Jacqueline got a foot on it, chasing it down, controlling it, spins it back. Sends it towards goal. Megan Dudek picks it up and sends it towards midfield. It's Bershight, the high right foot. Jacqueline takes it away. Bershight then kicks it towards the sideline. It goes out of bounds. Sideline far side off of the Bulldogs. Toss in by the Golden Bears. Jacqueline kicks it downfield. Goes out the sideline. Going to be Bulldogs possession. Wins picking up again. Dies down, picks up, Annie. out of the west. Annie. Will it be sunny for our second match? Hmm. Doesn't look like it will be. It looks like the cloud cover is going to be increasing as the day goes on. It was sunny at opening kick of this one. Sunny in 55. It's now cloudy and 55. Golden Bears. Trail this one, 2-0. Megan Dudex, the goaltender for the Becker Bulldogs. She retrieves the ball on the goal line, brings it up to the top of the penalty area and sends it to midfield. Two on two, if the Bulldogs can control, they do. And racing in, a kick towards the goal by Peterson. Blocked by Charity Howell, defense of the Golden Bears. Up the near sideline, it's taken by Hankala. Out of bounds by the Bulldogs, and Hankala was defending on that play. It's going to be Charity Howell throwing the ball in for Eveleth Gilbert. Some substitutions checking into the game. Caitlin Lebeck, among others, for the Golden Bears. Bulldogs control though, goes into the penalty area. Burscheidt on the attack, big save by Walner with her right foot and she boots it down towards midfield. Goes into the Bulldog zone. Before Urchel could get there, it was kicked away by Megan Dudek. But the Golden Bears keep the pressure on. Now the Bulldogs take control on their Sideline, far side, Golden Bears retrieve and pick it up. Sent back into the goal area, picked up by Megan Dudek and she will put her right foot to it and send it to midfield. Charity Howell knees it towards the Bulldog end. Becker leads it 2-0 here late in the second half. Now it's going to be a breakaway. It's Peterson coming into the left of goaltender Tori Walner on the goal line. Peterson fanned on it, fell to the turf. Charity Howell was defending. 
no whistle. Ball goes out off of Howell, and the Becker Bulldogs will control. Corner kick coming up in the Golden Bear end. Defending the corner kick in the penalty area, Lebec watches it go in front of the net. Charity Howell gets a foot on it, and the Golden Bears clear it down to midfield. A header by one of the Bulldogs back into the Golden Bear end. Jacqueline now, right-footed kick to the sideline, and it goes out of bounds there. It's gonna be Bulldog throw in inbounds. One bounce, stopped there by Timmerman. And a whistle and a stoppage of play as the time does run out in the second half. The Becker Bulldogs come out on top of this first match of our soccer doubleheader at the Biwabic Athletic Complex. The final score, Becker Bulldogs 2. Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears nothing. Scoring for the Bulldogs midway through the first half. Sophomore midfielder Amy Connard. And scoring early in the second half, senior forward Mickey Bershight. Bershight's seventh goal of the season. Connard scored her first goal of the season. 2 nothing. Becker wins. Eveleth Gilbert falls to 1-6. and six. And the Bulldogs improve their record to 3-4. and four. Team shake hands at midfield. Shake hands with the referees. And they will clear the way for match number two. The boys coming up. Becker Bulldogs, Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears. It's senior day. The seniors for both teams, girls and boys, Golden Bears soccer teams will be introduced along with their parents. Senior Katie Bertucci is a defender on the Eveleth Gilbert Golden Bears. Her parents are Sue and Tony. Haley Urchel is a senior defender for the Golden Bears. Her parents are Julie and Ted. Carly Heaty is a senior yeah, a defender great. for the Ellis Gilbert Golden Bears. Her parents are Terry and Jim. And Charity Howell, senior midfielder for the Golden Bears. With Dan and Taylor Koskinimi, senior midfielder with Sherry. Senior girls done. soccer players for the Golden Bears, Katie Bertucci, Haley Urchel, Harley Heady, Charity Howell, and Taylor Koskinimi. For the boys, John Martinson is a senior goaltender. Nick with Payne. Dawn. Uh, Nick and his Payne. mother is Rachel. And his father is Senior Brandon. midfielder for the Golden Bears, number three. <laughs> Rachel. And Jacob, Jacob Heitzman. And his mother, Tammy, and Senior father, defenseman. Mark. Where's number five for okay. the Evelyn What's Gilbert her name? Golden Bears? Okay. Taking it all in today, Jacob there with dad, Mark. Daniel and coach of the Golden Bears boys soccer team is Michael and Miller. And mom, Louise, and dad, dad. You see the girls seniors with their parents, and that is Daniel Rodriguez, senior midfielder for the Golden Bears with mom and dad, Louise and Dan. Zach Sandus and his mother, Brandy. Zach Sandus is a forward. Three goals on the season for Zach. And last but not least, Stephen Day 
And his mom and dad, Georgia and Dwight. Oh. Stephen Day is a last. senior midfielder <laughs> for the Golden Bears. One goal so far this season. Kicker for the football team. Okay, here's and last but not Stephen least. Georgia and Dwight. <laughs> Grant Coco and his parents, Carrie and Brett. And Grant Coco. <laughs> you have to stay back. You have to stay. Defenseman. <laughs> you can't leave. <laughs> Parents Carrie and Congratulations, Brett. Senior! And good luck with everything you do in the future! And happy times for parents and students alike on Senior Day for the Evelyn Gilbert Golden Bears girls and boys soccer teams. Girls lost earlier to the Becker Bulldogs, two to nothing. The level of Gilbert Golden Bears girls soccer team is now one and six. They play next uh, against Grand Rapids and the uh, boys. Start of the boys game is coming up. <laughs> 